I just want to uh, spend a few minutes talking about happiness because um, everybody really wants this. Um, and since I deal uh, almost exclusively with entrepreneurs throughout my life, um, I've noticed that there are a lot of entrepreneurs who just keep getting happier and not just because of their uh, business success, but because of the way that they're actually living their life. And then there's individuals who, no matter how much they achieve, it never produces uh, a happy result for them. They never get a sense that uh, while they're becoming more successful financially and uh, in terms of their entrepreneurial reputation, in terms of their importance and profile in the marketplace, nothing seems to make them happy. Quite a long time ago, um, I had an insight about happiness that it was actually not a result of anything that you were doing. It was a choice that you were making about how you were going to look at everything that happened to you in your life and that you were just going to choose that regardless of whether it was a difficult situation or an easy situation, whether it was you know, a, um, could have been a very negative experience or a very positive experience, I was simply going to choose to be happy with whatever happened. And it clarified things enormously that happiness is a choice. It's not a result of anything that's taking place outside of myself. It's an internal decision. It's an internal capability. And it's, um, it's a decision that can get more and more powerful the more that you choose to be happy. So um, happiness, uh, first of all, is a mindset then, and then happiness is a continual set of acting in a way that regardless of what happens to you outside of yourself, uh, you're going to be happy with it. And it seems um, almost like, uh, well, this is too simple. Uh, what you're saying, Dan, is just way, way too simple. Life is a lot more complicated than that. And I said, well, try it out. I said, uh, you don't have to, you know, don't, you don't have to commit the rest of your life to what I'm saying here, but try it out um, just for 24 hours. So before you go to bed one night, say, tomorrow, from the time I get up until I go back to bed tomorrow night, I'm just going to approach everything uh, from the standpoint that regardless of what it is, regardless of what happens, I'm going to be happy with it. It's going to add to my happiness. And um, the first day is uh, actually kind of hard, you know, it's like um, um, because um, the notion or the thought that other things are in control of my happiness is a very, very deep habit. And this is reinforced enormously by messages that we get in the outside world where um, people more or less um, kind of have bought into a mindset that uh, outside factors are in control of their internal happiness. And this is a decision. Um, and so in my case, I said, well, I'm making the decision that external factors are no longer in charge of my internal uh, happiness. Uh, my internal happiness is going to be something completely free from external uh, circumstances. And what happens when you start doing this and you stick with it for 24 hours and then you say, well, let's see if you can do two days. And you know, the whole, the old uh, wisdom about habits that anything that you can do consistently and continually for 21 days or for a month will become a habit. And that's simply what I've noticed. And there's a lot of challenges to that. You know, the normal course of uh, what happens to you in, in life is it's actually unpredictable. New things happen that you never um, uh, anticipated. And so to, allow all this unpredictability to happen to you, all these uh, things that catch you by surprise, and still always have the response that um, no matter what this external unpredictable factor is, the end result is it's going to make me happier. And uh, what I've noticed then is that this becomes my capability towards the world. and. Uh, 
And what I notice is because I'm generally happy and I communicate this happiness to other people, it's attractive. It attracts people. Uh, quite frankly, we like being around happy people. And uh, so uh, instead of going looking for happy people to be with, why don't you just be the happy person that other people want to be with? Since I have a choice um, of how I want to look at things in, in life, then I've just decided that happiness is just going to be my um, standard approach to anything and that I'm not looking or making things outside of myself responsible for um, my happiness. That My happiness is my business. My happiness is my responsibility. Uh, this is very, very important for entrepreneurs because you've chosen a life where a lot of surprising things are going to happen to you. And therefore, why don't you prepare for all those surprising things by saying, regardless of what it is, it's going to make me happy. Mm -hmm.